What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tasty Tuesday on Tasty Loot Gaming. In case you don't know, Tasty Tuesday is our weekly show where we talk about gaming news in the prior week. My name's Seth. I'm Josh. And, uh, yeah, uh, we this is a slow week, so we got four stories, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's get into that. This spring, Atari will be releasing uh, Atari Vault on Steam that will have 100 retro games from the 70s and 80s. Um, it'll have local and online co-op, or not co-op, uh, multiplayer and uh what, what else am i missing here uh support for the steam controller and steam leaderboards yeah and steam leaderboards um oh. it's going to come with classics like uh, asteroid space invaders all like those centipede staples, centipede um all like the very staples of let's Atari say if gaming if they're doing a hundred of them it's probably gonna be like most of them yeah i mean they might even add fucking et who knows oh god yeah that game's a fucking pile of horse shit <laughs> but um I mean, I, I think it's neat. Will I buy it? Probably not. That's that's actually where I'm at. Is uh, is I can appreciate. It. I think it's really cool they're doing that. I like the idea of them integrating older games with newer stuff, like you know, leaderboards, and and I, I think it's really cool they're putting online uh, multiplayer yeah. with these games because these are old games. Like you can play Pong online with people. That's weird. I mean, I'm sure yeah. you can do that on a website somewhere, but mm -hmm. um, but I've never, I've I, I, maybe it's the generation gap, I guess, but because I I started playing games really early, like you know. Uh, Nintendo, mm -hmm. but I, I never particularly got really into Atari. Mm -hmm. and I feel like that train is kind of left. Train for me. Car, like, yeah, that ship set sailed, and, and that ship set sailed long before I even played games. Yeah. Um, when the NES came out, is I that's when I got my first taste of like gaming, pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, my grandma later on got a Atari, and we played that for like a little bit. But I mean, it was it was fucking Atari. I mean, I had Super Mario. Brothers. What was that Atari game that scared the hell out of you? Adventure. Adventure, yeah. With that fucking duck dragon thing coming after you. Yeah. Um, I Similar, I I had a uh, Nintendo and a Sega Genesis. Uh, Sega Genesis is when it came out, mm -hmm. but Nintendo I already had it anyway. Like, as early as I can remember. We had an Atari, but we had like two games for it. I don't remember what the fuck they were, so that's mm -hmm. the impression it left on me. Yeah. Um, Favorite Atari game, if you have one? I don't. Really? I can't even... I mean, I can name off Atari games, like but none of them like none that. of them even have... I don't have any ounce of love for them, which yeah. sounds awful, but... It's yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, but we never grew, grew up with those. Exactly. I mean, like, kids now, now nowadays aren't going to look back at the, the SNES and NES and think of it like fondness because they don't play weren't there, there for it. I still I still could play Pong or something. Mm -hmm. Like for some, But for a like minute. how... Yeah, I was like... For how long? And and that's the thing about this bundle is like, yeah, I'm getting a hundred games. I'm gonna play each each game a minute or two, and then I'll be done. Um, except for Maze Craze, that game was the dopest dope. <laughs> you, know, you just had these complicated fucking mazes. There's a black or a red pixel and a blue pixel. And it was two player. You had to get to the end of the fucking maze as quick as you can. Oh, and like, and there's there's difficulty to it because there's times that he raced just the middle of the maze. Mm. You can see your pixel. That's it. Huh. So there's just a whole chunk of the maze going. You have to kind of work your way through it. Fuck. That game was pretty fun. Um, do they have a price point for this? No, I assume it's gonna be under twenty bucks. I would say what you're speculating twenty bucks. I, I assume twenty thirty bucks yeah. tops. If it goes beyond thirty. I think I think they're hurting themselves. If yeah, me on that because I already you know we're part of the demographic and yeah. neither of us really want to buy it anyway. Fuck no. So, but it's cool. It's cool for any uh, Atari fans out there. Um, this should be awesome for you. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Are you interested in 100 Atari games uh, with Steam support, uh, or are you not? Fuck it. Let's get to the next bit of news. Creator of the Five Nights at Freddy's series, Scott Cawthon, uh, just released a statement um, about his mostly uh, newest release game. Uh, was it Five Nights at Freddy's World? Yep. And um, saying that he, he's he been accused of rushing games in the past ever since the first one. And because uh, there's, what, five now over yeah. two years? And, um, <laughs> and he... Feels like this is actually the very first game that he's he's done where it actually was rushed and he wanted to apologize for it. Um, I'm not a fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, um, though I think it is neat. I mean, I mean, I mean, are you you're not a fan either? No, but before that, um, so the problem, 
Five Nights at Freddy's world is an RPG, and apparently a lot of the mechanics don't work correctly, mm-hmm. and I guess there's a lot of bugs. So that's what people are complaining about. Mm. Um, honestly, I think him saying that this feels rushed is him getting caught with a fucking undermade game, and uh, he's saving face. I think he does rush his games. I think that there's five Five Nights at Freddy's, I think, four or five of them. Five of them. Um, already uh, just shows that, and he's talked about it before, he used to make Christian... Uh, Bible games, mm-hmm. and then uh, there was like these weird bears in them. And then he transferred that over uh, to Five Nights at Freddy's, and it was more popular than he thought it was going to be. And so he rushed the fuck out of the rest of them. Um, people really enjoy them, so there's nothing wrong with that. But I do feel like they're just underdeveloped games, and I think this situation is him uh, essentially having people pointing the fucking finger. I'm saying, hey, there's actual problems with this fucking game. Mm-hmm. You are rushing games. And uh, he's just saving face by saying, you know, and it's it's good of him to admit yeah. it, but yeah, almost like uh, it's not surprising. Almost like he's like he's like I'm gonna put this game out, and I guess we'll see if fucking people don't like it or not because if people, you know, with all the uh, the he's he's like you know I got done with this game really fucking fast. I'm just gonna put it out there. Mm. He's like and if people have problems with it, then I'll fucking be like, well, you know, but yeah, it. it Five and two years. It's fucking crazy. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, this game also was scheduled. Uh, out further is supposed to come out at a different time, and I can't remember the the date, but it just kind of dropped out of nowhere, and that's mm-hmm. another reason why people were like, "This was rushed," because yeah. it was obviously released early too. Mm-hmm. And if you release a game early and it's fucking buggy, mm-hmm. that looks bad. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I I think he's being driven by by money. Oh yeah, of course. Like anybody, mm-hmm. but I mean, like he's a singular guy, so you kind of yeah. point at him and go, "That guy's." releasing this shit quickly because mm-hmm. it's making money people really enjoy the games I yeah. I particularly you asked earlier I'm not a particular fan of the games um, mm-hmm. I'm not a particular fan of a lot of horror games nowadays though because I don't think a lot of them are scary I didn't mm-hmm. think Outlast was scary I don't think Five Nights at Freddy's is scary or interesting I don't think the gameplay is fun um, not to say that if you do it's it you suck fucking to each their own but I just never found uh an affinity with it. I never, I never enjoyed them. Yeah, I, I, I've never really, really liked them either. I played some of the first. I'm one curious about just... the RPG though, because I'm wondering. A little weird. I'm wondering if it's going to elaborate on the storyline that people have speculated mm-hmm. about. Where, I don't know all the weird shit that where I've these heard. mechanical fucking animals are coming from. Yeah, um, I'm sure anybody watching this probably knows the answer to that because they've mm-hmm. all played the, all the games. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it always sucks when a game is. Released buggy, but that's that's the state of mm-hmm. affairs nowadays when it comes to games. All games come out un, uh, unfinished, mm-hmm. but um, but it, you know there there is a very blatant uh, rush on his part that could have been avoided, and uh, I I don't think this is going to affect him. I don't think it's going to affect his games. So I don't think it's going to affect sales. I mean, he'll probably put out another fucking patch or another version of the game. Or another, like, three more Five Nights at Freddy games yeah. in the next three months. And just scratch the worlds. <laughs> like, yeah. say, fuck it. Like, oops, sorry, hey, to make amends, fucking, I'm gonna make another game you can buy it from me. Yeah, you know, five, five, yeah. It'll, this time, less bugs. Yeah, the nice low price of fucking $10. So, next bit of news, Activision has come out and said that Destiny 2 is not coming out this September. Um... Apparently, they're still working on DLCs for Destiny, um, and uh, yeah, they've pushed back the release date. Um, honestly, you guys know we're not the biggest fans of Destiny on this channel. We were, we're not anymore. Um, I had no fucking idea Destiny Two was even scheduled. I was to come just gonna say that. Year. Like, I was like, I had, I had no idea it was in the works. I had no idea fucking. I still think there's shit they need to do in Destiny. They need to fix the first one before I even <laughs> think about fucking buying a second one. Um, unless they release a second one and it like just is fucking like awesome, but I'm gonna be really fucking apprehensive mm-hmm. because I was so stoked about Destiny and I enjoyed Destiny and then I got bored um, with the whole faux MMO feelings stuff like that and weird mechanics. Um, <clears throat> so aside from that, uh, are this, what's your opinion on the delay? I don't, again, I don't, I guess I could say I don't really have an opinion on it because yeah. it's just fucking, I never knew it was even in, in existence. Off the radar. Yeah, I mean, it's just, Destiny 2 right now does not matter to me. I mean, it's just, I wasn't looking forward to it. I wasn't even thinking about it. Mm. Um, I'm still uh, irritated with how the first one is being dealt dealt with. So, I mean, that's a huge thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but yeah, the second one I can give a shit about unless unless they show something that's amazing, then I don't I, I don't care. But you need to fix Destiny One before Destiny Two is anything special. Definitely. Um, or I mean, in in a weird way, if if they were to release Destiny Two and it just like fixed everything that was wrong with Destiny One and had, like a better story and the mm. way they portray stuff like that. Then maybe I could just forget about Destiny One, mm-hmm. but as, I'm I'm so jaded that this news doesn't mean anything to me. No, yeah. because I wasn't interested in Destiny Two. I had no idea it was coming out. I've heard rumors, but I didn't know there was an actual confirmed date for that. Mm-hmm. They got pushed back. Um, so yeah, completely off my radar. Uh, hopefully that delay means they're making the game better. Hopefully, it's positive for the people who are playing Destiny, which I know there's a lot of people playing Destiny still. Mm-hmm. Um, Hopefully it works out for you guys, and hopefully uh, they can somehow pull me back in. But uh, there's so many games now; I don't, I don't care yeah, really. It works out for me because fucking, you know, we'll see some fucking improvements. Yeah. So as that game stands now, it's a fucking pile of shit. <laughs> I'm go so far as to say it's a pile of shit, but it's definitely uh, it's disappointing. Me- it's a mechanically sound. Yeah. Pile for of shit. sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's a better way to say that. So our last piece of news. Um, Fire Emblem Fates uh, being ported over from Japan to here is getting a change in a scene. And uh, one of the changes, or the change, is, and I'm going to read it straight from the, the um, source. The source. Yeah. Is if a bond with a male protagonist is developed, he spikes her drink with a magic powder that reverses the gender of all character in her eyes. This is supposed to help her feel more comfortable around women, but is not consensual. So Lil, character in the game, can then fall in love with the female version of the protagonist. When the magic powder or when the magic reverses and reveals him to be a man, she continues to love him, essentially altering her sexual preference. Uh, In short, there's a scene: a chick gets drugged and uh, by Bill Cosby, pretty much, and changes her sexual preferences. I can see why this is an issue uh, for. the Americas and the in the the and Europe, uh, yeah. I mean, it, I didn't I didn't realize that should even be part of it. Why don't they just have? First off, just to make it clear, we both think that this is a fucked up thing. It is. Yeah, somebody, the whole somebody dumb. Yeah. Somebody uh, without consent, essentially changing someone's sexuality and making them fall in love with them, mm-hmm. whatever the hell that is. So just to be clear, that's a fucked up uh, situation. It's that Disney um, movie shit. What do you think about? them uh keeping that scene over there because it was already that's the game mm-hmm. and then taking it out here uh is is what's your opinion um i f- i mean like look if it was some kind of major kind of content or something mm-hmm. like that it'd be different i don't give a fuck i mean like f- this the scene shouldn't be in the game in the first place whoever wrote that's a fucking asshole yeah and it is just whatever but like i don't care i mean uh it, it, it's, it, I don't care. I mean, like, it's, it's, I would, I mean, it's not that I'd much rather play the fucking, the pure version or the, mm. the edited version. Um, I just want to play the fucking game. But, um, I think it's, 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 to me, it's more, I, uh, uh it's, a, it's a stupid scene to begin with. It shouldn't be in either one. Um, um. I agree, it's a stupid scene for sure, and is it questionable that they put it in the game? Absolutely, because I haven't played it, I don't know the context of it, it sounds fucking ridiculous. The thing that annoys me about it, though, is I'm, I don't like censorship, mm-hmm. so the we already know the scene exists, mm-hmm. we already know they did it, so it's there, it's already out mm-hmm. in the open. So, it's, it, it sucks that, that they can't release it here because of the backlash, but they are going to get the backlash. Yeah. So either don't do the scene or keep the scene in there and fucking just own up to it. Um, it is taking a piece of, it's not, it's a, it's a shitty scene. Mm-hmm. Fucking why put it in there in the first place? I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard for me to explain because I don't like the idea of them hiding shit because mm-hmm. they're worried about the backlash, but why'd they put it in the game in the first place? Yeah. Like, is that really a cultural thing that's okay over there? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. And I'm not trying to be too fucking social justice worried about it because, I, I mean, I, it's it's a fucking video game. Mm-hmm. But, um, and the, the character probably sucks. At the same time, though, do you think maybe, like, um, 
the context is kind of blown out of proportion. Possibly. Like somebody saw it and it's like, maybe it's like a really like cutesy scene or something like that. I mean, not yeah. saying it's still okay, but like maybe like it's a real cutesy scene or maybe that's not the, all the de the details in it, but that's just what they Context is key. That's why I'm saying they should just fucking release it here. And if it's a really fucked up scene, like I said, it, it doesn't matter if we get it or not because we already know it's there. Mm -hmm. So we, so your emotion, whether you're experiencing that fucking scene or just knowing about it. it. If you've played Fire Emblem, they're literally just two people, two pictures and dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're watching some really creepy scene or yeah, CGI yeah. or whatever. Sometimes they do, but it's always fight scenes. But uh but yeah, I mean if they're gonna if they're gonna go ahead and, and make that scene or make that part in the game or that character, um might as well just ship it. Because they, they they're already gonna do it anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't know. It's 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 confusing, it's it's stupid, it's a stupid fucked up scene. Um, I guess I haven't seen it, but yeah, context is absolutely important. Yeah. It could be a lighter thing, but regardless, if someone spikes someone's drink and mm -hmm. changes their sexuality mm -hmm. without their consent, that's weird. That's a weird thing. <laughs> a I don't know. I don't thing. know. But maybe he yeah. could be a bad guy. Maybe he could yeah. be a dude that fucking betrays you, mm -hmm. and that is betrayal, and it's fucked up. But at the same time, think of old boy. Mm -hmm. Old boy has a really fucked up uh, Fuck twist. Man. Yeah. It makes the movie fucking darker. It makes it more, uh, more. You're like, holy shit! Yeah, it brings and, more out of and it. And it's not exactly light either, but like there are some light parts in it. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, and then after the twist happens, it's like, well, fuck. Like, I don't think the end would have had the same impact if it was just as simple as like, oh, you killed somebody. That yeah, you loved, exactly. Like that. Like it's really fucking crazy. It's really deep. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's why it resonated. So in a different light, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, if that's if that scene, because it says you have to build a relationship with this guy first, and then mm -hmm. he does it. So in a weird way, it's like maybe maybe that's a way for him to be a fucking antagonist yeah. and does something really fucked up. Yeah, I don't know. It's all context. But I mean, but I hate the idea of censoring things because people are offended. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can be offended. You can bitch about it, and you cannot buy their stuff, mm -hmm. and then they'll never do it again. But at the point where fucking you gotta hide that that content, either change, change the just game don't fucking created. make it if you're that worried about it. Why the fuck would you do it? But if yeah. you're gonna do it. Fucking stand by it and see how people fucking respond to it. Get your balls. Break them for no one. But, uh, but yeah, to be clear, the, the situation's fucked up. Everyone can agree on that. Uh, I think that, that censorship is a blurry area, but I, I don't like the idea of censoring anything, really. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah, I'm also not clamoring for the opportunity for that to play that scene. Yeah. I'm not like, oh man, I really want to see that. Yeah, no. I'm missing that content. I don't, I don't care. It's just, it's stupid. Stupid situation, mm -hmm. um, and without context, it's hard to have a firm opinion outside of it's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, any anything else on that? No. All right, guys. Well, I think it's gonna do it for this episode of Tasty Tuesday on Tasty Loot Gaming. It's a short one, but uh, but I feel like there's some good topics in there. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Check us out on Tumblr and Twitter, Tasty Loot Gaming. Check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division, one word. Um, we have a bunch of shows coming out this week. Make sure to stick around for that. Uh, but until the next episode, my name's Seth. And I'm back. And, uh, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys.